SmartSuite recently released a new feature that allows us to conditionally hide sections within our records. Imagine that when you share access to your record, you're only showing the information that you want someone to see at that moment in time. That is all now entirely possible with this new feature, and we're going to be breaking it down in this video. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth and this is Gap Consulting, where we help you to get the most out of your no-code tools. SmartSuite is one of our favorite backend tools and frankly, they have been making so many new advancements in the front end component as well as we're gonna be outlining today. But before we get into it, I first want to invite you to join me for some automation training. No matter what tool you're using inside of your no-code suite, you are gonna get a lot of value out of of understanding how to build no-code automation. No-code automation is super simple, and when you learn how it works in one software, you can apply those rules to all of your different tools. I'm gonna to break it down for you in my free training at gapconsulting.io slash webinar dash registration. Go ahead and sign up there and start automating your repetitive tasks today. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and hop on into my screen and we are gonna be taking a look at the brand new feature from SmartSuite. Now, I wanna get started actually by using a template. So I'm gonna drop into my template gallery. I'm going to go into my event planning. I've already installed this one before. I'm gonna install it again. We'll just say use template. And if you wanna follow along in your own SmartSuite account, I will include a link to to this template wherever you found this video. So let's go ahead now, now that we've just installed the new template, because it's a redundant template for me, it's called it one. So uh, I can't actually go with event planning. If this is the first time you've installed this template, you'll just see event planning, but I'm gonna call mine copy since I already have an instance alive in my workspace. So. Inside of here, we've got a number of different components, different tables that allow us to plan out an event. And again, bear in mind, this is a template. We can make whatever changes or updates we want. Well, if I were to click onto my schedules table, now this particular table, of course, is pertaining to all the, the scheduling data. So we can see we've got two different views here. We've got by date on a calendar uh, type of timeline. And then we can also look at all of this data in rows and columns. But the component that we wanna look at is when we expand the record. This is when we drill into a particular record inside of the table. So in this case, I'm looking at a record called VIP Showcase Close. This is the name of the record. And then I've got certain different fields that are available up here. Now, up in the top part, you'll notice there is not a section. But if I scroll down, you'll see on the event details, there is a section that already lives here. And it, if we expand it, is gonna show us where the venue is, what the event dates are, start to end date, and then lastly, what the event status is, right? And so this information, yes, it lives in what we call a section on our record display. So when we expand the record, we have the ability to break out the different components, the different fields on our records. We can break it out and hide it in this expanded view based on our sections. Now, this has been something we could do for a long time, and the components that we have access to are essentially to rename a section or to collapse it by default. And you'll notice that this is toggled on here so that when we open up this record, this particular section is already gonna be collapsed. If we want to expand it, we can as I demonstrated. Now we can also add other sections and this is not a new feature, but here we've got the upper part right here, all of these different field components that we might want to put into another section. So in order to access this, let's click on the action menu of one of these fields and we can say, hey, actually we wanna add this all to a section and I'll call this this uh, basic info. And then similarly here, we can collapse this section now, and we can also now take this section and collapse it by default, etc. I can move these different components from one section to another, quite simply. Now, the new feature is all about conditionally hiding these sections so that when people are accessing the information that we've shared with them, they don't get money down by the stuff that they frankly don't need to see. So let's say, for example, that event details, this might only matter 
if we get to a specific status inside of the basic information. So let's build this new field first. Let's go in add or insert a new field here and I'll make it a status field. And I will just call it, let's say um, item status. And we will just keep the standard status here. Backlog in process, ready for review and complete. So we're just adding this here and we now have this new element inside of this record, right? So in all of our records in this table, we can now assign this status. So let's imagine that we wanted to conditionally show the event details only when an item is marked complete. So let's go ahead and in the upper right corner, click on the action menu, and we're going to go to our page settings. Now this is going to open up a couple of different options for us. This is where we can control if we want to be in one column or a 70-30 split or a 50-50, two columns, etc. We also have settings here where we can add a cover image and we can also go in on the fields and say, hey, we only want certain fields to be available in general on the record modal. That's fine. We can hide a lot of stuff all together and just remove it entirely. But let's say we want our sections to be conditionally visible to our users. That, my friend, is where we're gonna find this brand new feature right here, sections visibility, where we can set conditional rules for these sections. So as I was mentioning, let's suppose we want event details to be hidden until the item status is marked complete well, we click on event details here. That's the name of the section we want to hide. And we're going to apply this brand new filter. So I can say item status is complete. Save these conditions. And now we see this little logical uh, workflow component that was built here. This is suggesting to us that there is some conditional logic built into the section visibility. Now, let's take this out for a spin. I can close down my page settings. Let's save this record up. Now, of course, we know that that particular record now has that complete status, but maybe we're looking at VIP lunch. And when I scroll down here, you'll see that I don't have that section. The special section that we just conditionally hid is not visible to us because frankly, we haven't met the right conditions for this record. So in order for that to appear, that section, we must first First, meet the conditions for whatever we applied here. So we set up that the item had to be complete, the item status. And as soon as I mark it complete, now we have the ability to see our event details and we can now interact with the data inside of this section. So let's think about how this can actually pertain to your workflows and really helping you do more with less. Let's say, for example, that you have a contact that's going to fill out a lead request on your website. Well, you might have a lot of information that that contact gives you, but you don't need all of it to be readily available unless someone on your team decides that that contact or that application is qualified. So then once you update the status to qualified, maybe only then do you want certain information to be visible. This is a very simple example, but you can imagine thousands if not more different things like this where you have a lot of information, you don't want all of it to be visible on the page at that moment in time, and frankly, you don't want to build a big cumbersome interface for it. Well, now SmartSuite has allowed you to very simply hide that information until the time that you actually need it. I encourage you to give this new feature a try yourself, and I realize, of course, we went a little quick here, so drop questions you have below. And in the meantime, my friend, keep on building.